nothing at the half and went on to win 31-15. Romo finished with 249 yards, was involved in all four Cowboys touchdowns, three in the air, one on the ground. As the Cowboys improved to eight and six, the Bucks dropped to four and ten with their eighth consecutive loss. With the win, Dallas now has a half-game lead over the New York Giants in the NFC East. The Giants host the Redskins later today at the Meadowlands. Turning to the slopes, the Men's World Cup stopped in Alta Badia, Italy this weekend. And 32-year-old Massimiliano Blardone benefited from the home snow here on the second run. Blardone powers to the finish, taking the overall lead with a combined time of 2 minutes, 46.49 seconds. American Ted Ligeti led after the first run, but the 2011 world champion in the giant slalom faltered on his second run, and his combined time leaves Ligeti off the podium by one one hundredth of a second. For Blardoni, it was his first World Cup victory in two years and sixth overall. Ligeti, however, remains on top of the World Cup giant slalom standings as well as third in the overall points. In the Women's World Cup, Marley Shield of Austria won the slalom in Courchevel, France, earlier today. Her margin of victory over Finland's Tanya Poutinen was almost a full two seconds. American Lindsey Vaughn still holds the overall lead. That'll wrap it up for now from New York. Enjoy the snowboarding from Colorado. This has been the U.S. Bank NBC Sports Report. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Ski Pipe is now an Olympic reality, stoking the fire of an entire generation of athletes hoping to finally fulfill their Olympic dreams. Veterans like Simon Dumont, rising stars like David Wise and X Games legends Jen Hudak, all on display in copper today as winter makes its grand entrance. Also dropping in the original Olympic pipe athletes, the snowboarders. It was their culture of innovation over the past two decades that can be credited for taking half pipe to where it is today at the top of the action sports pyramid. Heroes like Louis Vito and Kelly Clark and a cadre of young, talented riders are ready for takeoff. The best free skiers and snowboarders in the world are ready to rip the super pipe at Copper Mountain. Next. NBC Sports presents the Visa U.S. Free Skiing Grand Prix. Part of the Sprint U.S. Grand Prix.